Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Destro's Desk. I'm Rob and I hope you guys all had a great Christmas and I hope your new year has started off on the right foot. I'm going back in time here a little bit. We're going to unbox Snow Job today. I've been holding on to this guy for quite a while and uh, finally going to get him unboxed partly because I just bought uh, a vehicle for him. So we'll see how that uh, scales up and see how he looks on that. So sit back and let's talk about Snow Job. I'm sure most of you has already seen uh seen this figure but uh we're gonna take a look at him so here's the box we'll go over it quickly great picture on the front there of snow job and the, and the uh, artwork picture just really stands out looks super cool um up top we got a ton of stuff with this guy kind of like the snow serpent um on the side we got that uh picture again the art piece which looks great uh he is number 67 in the series so we're definitely going back here about 40 figures um on the back some great pictures of the figure and everything you get right here he's uh standing in at 6.5 inches this guy actually uh comes with a second head sculpt so that's cool and uh oh well, he's got a holster so that's uh definitely got to have that we'll get this guy opened up and let's take a closer look all right we definitely got a snow job figure in the box and we'll open up this large weapons and accessories pack this i believe is the skis yep so we've got two skis there for him. And in this one, we've got a lot of stuff also. Definitely lots. Comes with snow job here with this Arctic pack. I'll get all this set up and then uh, we'll take a quick look at Snow Job. Now that we're into 2024, uh, Snow Job was very highly ranked with a lot of people uh, as one of the, the best figures of 2023 for the G.I. Joe Classified series. And by first look at this guy, I couldn't agree more. Um, right out of the box, he looks fantastic. What an amazing head sculpt on this guy and the face, facial features there with his beard and everything. Really well done. I like that. Um, lots of white on this guy. This is uh, snow job from the arctic uh it's kind of cool they got him um, looking like he's got a jacket on here that uh, hangs down so that's that's a little different some nice moldings there we got the uh, harness on the front got a couple paint apps uh, silver paint apps on the buckle there he's got some uh, pouches around on the, on the harness there he's got a brown belt on him with a couple pouches on it there he's got that holster that we saw on the back of the box for his uh, revolver uh, a couple of light gray pockets on the front of his legs there and uh, uh, and he's got a bit of a gray gray tone to the bottom of the uh, snow pants so uh, also got some gray up on the top of his jacket there just to give it uh, some extra color which looks really well done so an excellent looking figure that's for sure i can see why uh, everybody really liked this guy so i'm very happy that i've uh, finally got time and to get him unboxed uh, we also get a second head sculpt with snow job and this is i believe the first figure in the classified line that i can think of that uh, there was an actual head a second and head sculpt uh, with a with a joe figure so the head sculpt looks great the hair is red hair and the wash that's uh in there looks fantastic same with the beard really well done the eyes are on point um the mustache mouth everything looks great so yeah definitely uh the snow job figure is uh is a good one so we got the uh, head sculpt we've also got the uh, collar if we want to use that head sculpt so that looks like he has his hood pulled back pulled back down so that can be switched out uh, if uh, if you feel like doing that um he comes with those uh goggles which look great uh, we've seen goggles with a few of the figures now but uh, these have a really uh, great paint job on the lens there with the uh the two-tone the uh, yellow to uh, orange color on it uh, the way the light hits it so that's that's uh, really really nice to have that then with some of his equipment we have got uh we've got the skis so we'll see how those look with the snow serpent we got the uh, snowboard uh, and with uh, snow job we got skis this time we got those same snowshoes just in uh, a black color um he's got his uh ski poles which are uh, look really good just flat black plastic some nice uh, silver paint apps on the end for the tips there and we have got that small revolver that'll go in that holster nice looking typical uh, gun to, uh, goes along with snow job lots of texture on there they did a did a good mold for that one so that looks good it's a good looking gun. 
And we've got a uh, sniper rifle that uh, comes with snow job. They, it's got a uh, huge sight on the top of it. A um, couple paint apps on there. Look back in the butt of the gun there. And we got uh, another paint app on the front here also. Um, there is a magazine to go in this. And as of right now, I don't see it. So it's either still in the bag. I better check that out. Or I didn't get one. So it's not sitting here. So have to look for that all right i found the gun magazine it was actually in the backpack in where the uh, gun goes it was way down wedged in there so that was a uh, lucky find because i thought i didn't actually get one so the old magazine will clip into the bottom of the gun there and there you have it so we also have that backpack this is a, a new sculpt for this guy um large backpack it's got the straps on the sides for the uh for the skis uh there's a couple pegs on the bottom here i believe that's for the snowshoes uh the sniper rifle can go on the top there and on this side the ski poles will uh, clip in there so looks like everything that comes with snow job can be uh stored on him which is great so let's uh let's get him all suited up here and uh see how he looks so we can uh we can use these We'll put these skis on them. I'll just see how that looks. Yep, so the skis, the skis peg in nicely there. They seem to stay on well. And the poles, you know, just clip into or into his uh, hands there. All right, so there we go. We got uh, we got the poles in hand there. We got the skis on them. So that looks looks good. Nice to see all these new uh, these new parts, these new pieces. And we can also peg on the uh, the snowshoes. Like I had said, uh, we've we have seen these snowshoes before in a in white. And that was with the Snow Serpent, which was another amazing figure from uh, from 2023. I had him in my uh, my top five list of. So if you haven't watched that video, it's uh, it's in my playlist there. And Snow Serpent was in my top five, but I only did uh, regular retail releases. So this guy was an exclusive. Otherwise, he would have been in that list. So snowshoes on him there. We can put that gun in his uh, in his holster on his right leg the uh let me put that backpack on him and the backpack seems to uh stand there pretty good it is a heavy backpack it uh it does kind of make him want to fall backwards so that could be a bit of a issue with posing but uh if this vehicle i got works out we're gonna probably have him on there most of the time anyway so so there is uh so there's snow job looking great um, I'm not going to put that other head sculpt on right now. On the end, I'll have uh, some some video of uh, of him uh, on the turntable with with that different head sculpt. All right, so like I said, you guys have all pretty much seen Snow Job by this point, so I'm not going to go into too much more detail. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to get this uh, vehicle that I uh, picked up from Amazon and. Uh, We'll see how he uh, sits on there and uh, if it looks good at the scale seems to be right. That is coming up next. I also just wanted to mention this is uh, basically the loadout with the backpack with all the accessories on it. Um, as I said, those uh, skis fit in those side straps there nicely. Uh, the um, snowshoes peg on to the bottom there. His uh, sniper rifle goes uh, through the case there from the top down. And on this side, we can clip in those poles. And uh, so that looks good. It's, uh, it's fairly heavy, so he, uh, it might be a challenge for uh, keeping this guy posed. But, but it's a great looking loadout. They did a really good job with uh, all these pieces and how it all uh, can be stored on here. So I really like that. They did a good job with all the pieces for Snow Job. All right, so this is the snowmobile that I picked up uh, off Amazon here in Canada. Um, it's a Yamaha snowmobile. It's uh, by this uh, company, New Ray. They make uh, quite a few of these, uh, um, some four-wheel motorcycles and regular two-wheel motorcycles and snow uh, snowmobiles. So uh, this is in the 112 scale. So when I saw that, uh, I wanted to pick it up and see how this would uh, work for the uh, classified figures, uh, that being Snow Job and uh also could be a cobra vehicle and uh the uh snow serpent could use that or the uh the arctic bat so let's get this one opened up and let's see what this guy's all about all right so i got this snowmobile out of the box and uh it's actually pretty cool there's some die cast parts on there uh, the seat is metal this piece at the front here this is also metal and i think the rest of it is plastic has a nice tread on the bottom here. It doesn't uh, it doesn't move really that well. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but uh, I think I'll just leave it as is. Uh, the skis on the front and the suspension. It's actually got working uh, suspension, and the uh, steering wheel or the handlebars uh, actually 
turn to the uh, front skis so that's pretty neat never bought uh, one of these types of uh, toys before so this is a, a new experience but uh, when I saw these, I thought this would be a great uh, vehicle for, for classified since it's a 112 scale. And um, I mean, this has uh, got tons of possibility too for customizing. So I might actually get into doing some of that. Take this thing all apart. There's some screws on the bottom. So I think most of this will probably come apart and uh, probably uh, do a different paint job on it and uh, maybe get some, uh, some new stickers. But lots of possibilities with that for some customization whether it be for uh, G.I. Joe or Cobra. So it looks pretty sweet. I think it looks good. So uh, let's see if old Snow Job fits on this thing. All right, so we got Snow Job on the snowmobile. His hands uh, fit nicely on the handlebars. Um, they, they wrap around there nice in those uh, trigger finger hands. Um, he does sit down on the seat. The only issue I'm having is for his legs and his feet. I don't really... It doesn't really work to get his uh, his feet up onto this uh, runner here for him to put his foot on. There's also like a, a spot in there to slide uh, to slide your foot under, but uh, it doesn't. Was it, if I put his feet on there, he doesn't want to sit on the seat. So, and I don't think pointing his legs back or his uh, bottom half of his leg there, if I have it back. So I don't know. I'll play around with it and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. But he does fit on there. The scale seems to be right. Looks really good. I definitely like that. So I will uh, definitely think about customizing this. I think it could uh, it could look really awesome. Put some camel some winter camouflage on there and get some uh, some other stickers to put on it. But uh, definitely stay tuned in a, in a future um, video or even a YouTube short as I may uh, have this customized and I'll do another video on that. But I just wanted to uh, open up Snow Job and show you guys. Like I said I'm sure you've already seen him already, but uh, excellent figure. I wish it didn't take this long to open up up but it's gonna have some fun with this one and uh, we're supposed to get quite a bit of snow tomorrow so uh, i can get, even get some pictures and some shots in the snow with this so i think it looks pretty sweet what do you guys think let me know in the comments and uh let me know if you want to pick up this uh the snowmobile it uh, was in canada it was on sale for 27 like 99 or something like that uh it was a few bucks off this was the only one they had in the 112 scale there's also a four-wheeler uh, ATV that I'm also it's think about getting. It's actually in a camouflage color, so I may pick that up for uh, for one of the other guys. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it looks pretty good, and uh, I'm glad I purchased that. It wasn't expensive. It wasn't uh, like a Hasbro product or something. It was going to be like sixty, seventy, eighty dollars, anything like that. Just a, uh, a cheap, uh, nice-looking Yamaha snowmobile and for something for a snow job to ride around in, in the Arctic and in the snow. So guys, as usual, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel. If you like this video, and if you like my other videos, hit that like button and definitely hit that bell so you know what my next video is up for you guys to watch. So I'll put them in a spin here on the turntable. You guys can have a, have a quick look at them, closer look. And uh, until the next video, guys, hopefully Mutt and Junkyard are right around the corner. Um, I'm itching to get that guy so I can do an unboxing and review and bring that to you guys. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I give you Snow Job G.I. Joe Classified number 67 on a Yamaha snowmobile. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Yo, Joe! We'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe against Cobra, the enemy, fighting to save the day. He never gives up, he's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe! G.I. Joe, Joe, Joe is the code name for America's daring, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose? To defend human freedom against Cobra, a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. He'll stay till the fight one G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe.
gotta play rough when you cross that line of fire. You got to have guts to stand for your rights. You got to keep a grip on the hold on tight. You got to do the fighting with all of your might. You got to keep the target straight ahead on your side. It's got to get up. Yo, no, yo. No. Got to get up. Yo, no, yo. No. G.I. Joe, America's top secret mobile strike force team. Yo, no, yo. No. The mission to defend freedom. Yo, no, yo. No. The threat. Cobra, an evil organization bent on world conquest. Yo, yo. The battle cry. Yo, yo. Got to get up.